Welcome back YouTube, you have Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and this is the second video about the fifth beta for Android Q but this time I'm gonna share with you the issues I had so far since I installed this beta on my Pixel 3 XL but before getting started let's make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video so let's jump in So the first issue I had is related to YouTube. When you open a YouTube video and you watch it in full screen, like this, and then you go out to full screen, your navigation stops working. There is no back button gesture. There is no home gesture. So there is a very quick fix for this issue. All you need to do is to lock your phone and then unlock it and your navigation works back again as normal. Another issue related to navigation, if you tap anywhere on your home screen and you get this overlay menu and then you go out of it, your navigation between home screens will stop working but you still can access your app drawer and your notification center. There is also a quick fix for this issue if you go to settings and then go to apps and notifications and then hit the search and search for the pixel launcher and then you force to stop it and then you go back to your home screen give it a few seconds and then your navigation works back again another issue related to google assistant if your phone is locked and you say the magic word for the google assistant sometimes it doesn't respond to what you're saying so let me show you this how are you how are you So as you see here, it responded the second time. I said, hey Google, it didn't respond to the first time. So uh, I couldn't find a quick fix for this. All you need to do is you keep trying until it responds to what you're saying. Another minor issue is related to the always on display. So let me show it to you. So I will keep my phone idle until it locks itself. So the phone got locked, but the always on display didn't show. If you give it a few seconds, it will show up, but it will give a weird flash, um, like showing the lock screen wallpaper, and then it goes back to the always on display. One of the things that has been mentioned a lot in the comments of my previous video about the fifth beta for Android Q is the black boot screen is not showing on the Pixel 2 devices, it's only showing on the Pixel 3 devices. So this is not a big issue, however you need to be aware of that. There is a very important feature that disappeared from this build of Android Q, which is the built-in screen recording. So if you tap and hold on a screenshot, you no longer get the option to record your screen, it just takes a screenshot. Also, if you go to System, Developer Options, and then you go to Feature Flags, it's now completely empty, so you are not able to activate it or deactivate it like the previous builds of Android Q. Uh, so I'm not sure if Google will completely take it away or it will come back again in the future builds. So another change happened after installing the fifth beta for Android Q is related to the camera app. So previously, before installing this beta, Night Sight was showing here, same as video and portrait. However, after installing this beta, it now returned it back to show under more. Uh, and I'm not sure why this change happened, but you just need to be aware of it. It's not a big deal, but it was a lot easier for me to go to Night Sight by swiping and instead of going to More first and then activate the Night Sight. One important thing you need to keep in mind before installing any beta software on your device is your bank app will stop working and that's for security reasons because most of the banks will block their apps from running on beta softwares. So if you have a good alternative on the web, so this will not be a big issue for you. So that's pretty much it. Those are all the issues I encountered since installing the fifth beta for Android Q on my Pixel 3 XL. I'm using this phone as my daily driver and there is no major issues that stopped me from using it. Please let me know in the comments if you have any major issues after installing this build and I'm gonna try to help you out to find fixes for them. So thank you for watching and if you like my video please don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.